is Miss Pierce. First period is walking out, and a student has asked me to video a part of the lesson and put it on YouTube. So here we go. Very brief video. Um, we want to write an equation of a line that is parallel to the x-axis. Now be very, very careful. The x-axis, that has two names. It is called the x-axis, but because it lays down, it is also y equals zero. How do you know that? It goes through the origin, and all y values cross the who? y-axis. So yes, this is the x-axis, and yes, it is horizontal. But all y values, that means I see y, I see a number, they all lay down. So this is the x-axis, but he is also called y equals zero. So I want to write an equation that is parallel to this line that passes through one, three. Well, there is one, three, I've plotted it. So if I am going to write an equation that is parallel to this line, the x-axis, y equals zero, that passes through one, three. That line is y equals three. So y equals zero is the x-axis. And the line that is parallel to this situation, this graph here, is y equals three. Okay, so the answer to that would be y equals 3 is parallel, that's the parallel symbol you'll use in geometry, to the x-axis, better known as y equals 0. Okay, so now let's talk about the y-axis. I am the y-axis, but it has another name. All x values do what? Stand up. So this is x equals zero, it goes through the origin. Now, if x equals zero, and I am a vertical line, and I want a line that is parallel to this line that I've drawn, the y-axis, ask yourself, well, what is the question wanting the point to be that the new line goes through? And that would be, to negative one. So parallel to the x-axis, I'm sorry, to the y-axis. Parallel to the y-axis, x equals zero would be what? x equals two. So x equals two is parallel to the y axis, which is x equals zero. Now, I want it to be perpendicular. Mm, let's write a new uh, equation that is perpendicular to this line that goes through that point. Well, that's this way. So, that's y equals negative one, and y equals negative one is going to be what? perpendicular, that's the symbol for perpendicular, to the y-axis. One more time. y equals negative 1 is perpendicular because it creates a 90-degree angle to the y-axis. So now, what would be perpendicular to the x-axis? Oh, I'll create a 90 degree angle here. I'm sorry for that. Perpendicular to the Y, ah, say that again, perpendicular to the who? X axis, that's the Y equals zero line would be what? What is this? One crossing the X axis. Uh, let's say it better. This line crosses the x-axis at 1. So this would be x equals 1, and it crosses the x-axis at x equals 1. 
So the p x equals 1 is perpendicular to the x-axis. Gotta go. Welcome Sorry. To